learned many times why people shouldn't just invest in a stock index. I see this is a very good opportunity for people with very little money that want to put a little bit of that money into the stock market. Stock indexes are good for that. And it's the only options that people with a lot of money have because they cannot do anything but reflect the entire stock market according to the market capitalization of each stocks. But it's not necessarily the best option for somebody with a little bit more money, maybe 100,000, maybe 200,000 to invest in the stock market. Why not? First, if you buy an index, you buy more of expensive stock and less of cheap stock because every stock is weighted in an index according to its size. So by definition, expensive stock are overrepresented and inexpensive stock are underrepresented. The second thing is choice. When you have to buy an index, when you buy an index, you have to buy every stock in that index. And there are stocks in that index that you may not like. You know, maybe some stocks with bad incentives, such as private equity firms or consulting firms or investment banks, where partners have to decide if they want to give the money to the investors or keep it for themselves. Or other companies that are not really in a good competitive environment, like the airline industry. That's such an example where the competition just doesn't work very well and investors lose money. Or you may have a preference for stocks that you know, help women to combine their professional life with their family life. So you are in favor of family supporting companies. Or you want companies with a good governance. Or you're worried about the climate and you want companies with a little CO2 footprint. All these things can't be done when you buy an index. You have to buy the entire market. You have no choice. Picking your own stocks gives you a little bit of choice and you can select the companies you like. If you buy enough companies, experts say you have to buy about 15 to 30 companies, you should be fine. You're diversified equally well like an index. And the last point I don't like about an index is that you still have to work with somebody else. You're not directly invested in the company. You're you are invested in a financial institution. That carries counterparty risks and it carries fees. And you don't need that because you could achieve the same result on your own. That's why I think people with a little money, bit money on the side to save for their retirement are better off picking their own defensive and long-term stock portfolio.